This will be an RF test, a 10 minute duration test of a typical smart meter, only about an inch away from an Acoustimeter model AM10 RF detector. This is simply a stopwatch, a timer. Now we're going to take a 10 minute test and we're going to speed the video up 20 times its normal speed so that you only have to spend 30 seconds watching this video. Now we're going to turn on the Acoustimeter now and tell you what the numbers mean on the scale here. Up here, right now we're being 0.06 in volts per meter. That's this dial here. And this is a peak hold, so the highest this goes to, will this number will hold at the end of the 10 minute duration. This is showing the highest ever re read in peak. Right next to it is the current reading. Right now it's reading about 0 0.5, 0 0.05 volts per meter. The number right below that is represents this scale, microwatts per meter squared. So let's begin the test and go for 10 minutes. There you have it, 10 minute duration test. And it's peaking again right now, but the highest we had at peak was about 0.61 on that whole 10 minute test. What we typically find with these smart meters is they'll send out a signal about every 10 minutes, or I'm sorry, about every minute or so, and roughly the duration is approximately five to 10 seconds. It's very fairly random, but it probably averages out to be about once a minute. Okay, now we're inside the house on the other side of the smart meter. We've marked a spot on the wall by measuring that piece of tape there is where the smart meter lies, the back side of it. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, let me explain. We're about six inches from the wall. The wall is about five inches thick. The meter, the back of the electrical box that houses the meter is an inch and a half from the outside of the wall. And then where we measured before was a good 8 inches to 10 inches past that point. So we're almost 2 feet away from where we were. But we're on the back side so we have a piece of metal, the metal of the box, of the electrical box, housing the meter is blocking it, plus the wall itself, plus a little bit of distance. So you have to take that into account. But first of all, let's turn on the meter. The and we're going to do another 10 minute test. And again, same way, it's going to be only going to take uh, 30 seconds to watch it. So let's begin. Okay, after 10 minutes, you see it's only gone up to 0.25, which is less than half it was on the other side. Now we're about a foot away from the back of the meter, and there's metal from the back of the meter. We're going to run the test again. It's peaking again. We're going to run the test again, but we're going to do a five minute one this time. You can see there's no point in really having a very long test. As long as you can get those, get those peaks in there from a certain time period, uh, I'm just being fair about it by doing a 10 minute test. But this is about how far away your head would be from if you had a bed against this wall, about six inches. This is about as close as you would be if you had a bed here and it was five feet up off the ground because that's how high we are. But let's say you wanted to do some sort of blocking measure. Uh, you can buy foam or fiber material with aluminum facing on it. So let's say you just decided to put a board up here and already we're going to see if it'll... Well now actually it, it jumped all the way up to 0.63 there for an instant before I put that thing in there. So, but we're going to reset it. And so we get this to be zeroed again. So with this aluminum, aluminum backing here, we're going to run the test again. We're just going to do it for five minutes. And let's begin. Well, after five minutes, you can see we did have a spike. Um, 0.57 came through. 
if you consider the last one with a spike right before I put the, the foil up, then we would have to say uh, it was a little bit reduced from that right at the end of the 10 minute test. What I'm going to do now, let's say you uh, also want to put an aluminum foil, standard household aluminum foil. We're going to have to reset the acoustometer and reset our timer. And we're going to do that for five minutes if I can hold this thing up for that long. My arms are getting tired. Uh, let's begin. Keep in mind some of these higher readings we're seeing could be coming from inside the house, reflecting off the aluminum. We're going to explore shielding and other methods in future videos here on this channel. Well, there you go. Another five minutes now, and we've had a spike of 0.79. So, this just goes to show you, I've done this test many times, actually, and this is the first time that it's actually gone up after the foils are put in place. But, uh, so it goes to show you, maybe a 10-minute test or a 5-minute test isn't sufficient. Maybe you have to do it for a whole day. The point here is usually, and these are ungrounded of course, usually these do block. Uh, they do block some, even without grounding. Grounding typically doesn't seem to do much, to be honest with you. Much additional. But, this is a method being used currently, the foils or aluminum screening, to help block RF if you have a, a bed or you have a room, a bedroom, directly up against the backside of a smart meter. It's become obvious by some of the strange readings we just got that we're going to have to redo this. And this time, because of the weight, we're going to mount this to the wall so we don't have to hold it up for long periods of time. So I set this rig up. We're going to start to try to do this test for hours if we can. So we're going to turn on the acoustometer and we're going to start this and we're going to run it a lot faster this time. We're going to run it at 300 times normal speed. And the upper left hand corner re digital readout of the acoustometer is what you want to look for here. And you see it has gone up to, after 30 minutes, it's gone up to 0.84 volts per meter. So, but at this point my batteries ran out on the acoustometer, so I had to replace the batteries and try this test again, go for hours if, again if we can, and turning on the acoustometer and starting the time again at 300 times normal speed, watch the upper left hand corner, how the, the numbers go up, and after the highest reading we ever obtained on this particular test, we reached at about 45 minutes, right about there at 0.15. 0.15 volts per meter is the highest we read this whole time. Now, this area is an alcove. It's kind of shielded from the outside RF, so it gave us pretty fair readings. However, somebody could have walked in the area with a cell phone. Somebody could, be, could, you, could have been using a microwave oven in the, within 100 feet. Somebody could have driven by with some kind of uh, RF signal in their car. The only way to do this properly would completely shield the area, but I think we probably still got an accurate reading at that 0.15, even after hours. Uh, you'll find out in the next video segment how it's higher ambient outside of this alcove. Now after, here we go, three hours, let's just jump it to four hours and 36 minutes and you'll see we only got 0.15 in that whole four plus hours period of time. Okay, I'd probably be remiss if I did not show, along with the smart meter we just tested, also right beside it happens to be an analog meter. It's kind of dark here, don't know if you can see it. But, we're going to test an analog meter too, but because it's so close to the smart meter, we're going to have to go to another meter to do that in the rain, so hopefully we can do this without getting equipment too wet. And I actually have something set up over here that I should be able to keep my equipment dry enough. Okay, here's a, another meter. This is obviously an analog one. Let's put my little cover over so we can stay out of the rain. All right, we're going to turn on the acoustometer, and we're going to give you a five minute reading because there's really no need in doing this. But again, watch this top number five minute reading spread up to 15 seconds. Okay, you can see after five minutes, it's made, made a pretty constant, roughly 0.2 volts per meter. It peaked at 0.25. Now, we're going to walk around a little bit because that's a, that's a little surprising to me. Uh, maybe it's putting off some up, but let's walk around a little bit. Let's get away from the meter and, and let's watch what happens. And I still got the cover over the camera. But actually, you'll see it pretty much stays walking away from... Now this electric meter you just had was a warehouse and the warehouse 
has virtually nothing on right now and there's no RFs coming from that warehouse. And we're walking well away from any buildings. And you see its background here is actually fairly high maintaining that. Now the nearest cell phone tower is actually uh, three miles from here. Now we're well away from any other buildings. And we're out in the countryside. There's virtually nothing else here. As you can see, it is just nothing but empty farmland. And we're still getting that RF signature.